Hey everyone, welcome back. One-Eyed Sniper here, and this is a Let's Play of Dark Souls 3. So we just got to the end of the Road of Sacrifice, and below us is the Crucifixion Woods. We got to meet Henri and Horus over here, who are on a similar journey as us. They're both heading to the Cathedral of the Deep. Uh, what we want to do right now is head back to Firelink. Uh, I'm going to turn in that tome. Oh, I need to get my souls back. I died the last one, and I forgot about that. My souls are right here. We should be able to level up. Go. Yes, yeah, so we'll head back to Firelink. I should be able to get at least one level in. Turn in that tome and then head right back. So I, I've been going back and forth kind of on how I want to behave as a. Oh, she's new. Uh, how I want to behave is as a in the community as a PvP guy, I guess. Except I don't participate that much. Usually I, I don't heal um, unless they do. But I think I'm going to change that because I've been screwed over a couple times where the enemies attack me and they don't care, stuff like that. So I, I won't do anything to screw them, uh, which I really can't when I get invaded. But yeah, so I'm going to heal. Uh, I'm going to be that guy. I know that there's mixed feelings on that, but we'll see if it helps me out at all. Uh, let's meet her and see what she wants to say. Hmm. You're an unkindled, aren't you? I am Cirrus of the Sunless Realms, former servant of the Divinity. Duties we each bear, but one's duty is a solitary affair. I doubt we've much to gain from fraternization. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. All right, so she pretty much just told me to kick rocks. Uh, so she says anything else. I doubt we've much to gain. Blessing. Yep, she said, "Yeah, I don't want to talk to you. Go away." So that's cool. That's cool. Uh, he's still going to talk about the Knights of Farron. Let's go talk to Arena. Give her this tome. Splash with a little water. Oh, Champion of Ash, welcome back. Do you wish to hear a tale? You only have to ask. Yeah, tell me about this. Oh, you've brought me a braille divine tome. Now I can tell new tales of miracles. Tales of the greater miracles can be quite the epics. What fun we will have. <laughs> Alright, so she's increased it by adding Tears of Denial, which is a new one. I've never actually used it, so I don't know what it... I mean, I, aside from what it says, I'm not exactly sure how it works, but... A uh, miracle taught by Morn, the Archbishop's Apostle, grants one chance to endure when HP reaches zero. Intended to grant the dying a few moments of a, for a final farewell, tears are shed for the sake of the living more so than the deceased. Uh, homeward, which is basically homeward, but just like a homeward bone, uh, returns caster to the last bonfire, and then force, which we've all seen before. Uh, apparently you can use it to defend against incoming arrows, but I, I don't know. It seems like a waste, but... And then I think it added in medium heal as well. Uh, so that's all that she's added in. Have a pleasant journey, Champion of Ash. Other than that, I don't think we have enough to upgrade our axe. Titanite. Where's Titanite shards? Yeah, we need six, so we don't have enough. But I think we can level up, so we'll do that. Attacking ahead and then lonely. Yeah. Welcome home, Ashen One. I assume you can kill her, and if you if you did, I don't. I guess you just wouldn't be able to level up. Uh, I'm not sure how that would work. Very well, then take. I've never actually been one to kill uh, NPCs. Uh, we're going to do Vigor. We want to get our Vigor up to 20. So I need about 2,500 more souls. Let's see if we can't get that. Uh, we can do that no problem. There we go. 
Well, speak very well, then take me. All right, so Vigor's up to 20, and then after that, I think I'll look at going into Strength, or... I should be doing our Intelligence and Faith, too, as we go. Farewell. This axe... Oh, this axe doesn't scale. That's... Okay, that was... I was wondering why when I did Strength, it wasn't going in, increasing our damage anymore, but... That makes sense. The only thing I don't know is... So this is doing Dark Damage, 120. I'll have to see, after we increase our Intelligence... Or faith, if that increases the dark damage we do. I don't think it does, because it's split evenly between physical and dark. So it's not getting any scaling at all from intelligence or faith, I guess. Uh, and that is different from Dark Souls 2. Where if you applied a element to one of your weapons, you... Um, your intelligence and faith could actually increase how much damage you got from those. Alright, so Henri has moved on. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let's do a blue sentinel. Um, this is a pretty heavy PvP area. I, I will ember up eventually, but I want to get a little farther in first before I do that because chances are, like I said, I will die. I'm not really afraid of dying. What I am afraid of, generally speaking, is redundancy. Can't stand doing things I've already done before, which is kind of a mainstay of Dark Souls. But All right, so for that, we just got a soul. This is a really big area. Um, you'll notice these things. Those little poison pots are back. They're still as easy to take out as ever, though. That guy is new. Looks like someone who's been crucified here in the uh, crucifixion woods. And as you can imagine, he's not happy about it. Nope. It is a very dramatic demise there. Alright, these, these guys with the trees aren't hard to kill, but they can really screw you up. They get to hit you a lot if they actually connect, so... I think that tree branch is considered a lance, so they basically get to charge at you with it. Dogs, nobody likes you. Yeah, that worked out better than I thought it was going to. Got another Titanite Shard, so we can upgrade the axe if we go back again. I think I'll start out clearing out some of the left before we head over to the right. Actually, uh, there's really no reason to do that. We'll just do the... We can do the right side first. Alright, we got a bunch of little crabs, and if you notice in the distance, there are some huge crabs. Uh, the little crabs drop a lot of resistance items, so they're not a a bad idea to take them out. I don't know if they can actually hurt you. Um, that one definitely can't. And he thinks he's going to right about now. And they he might he might kill me. These guys are no joke. That was, that was dumb. Oh, uh, the water thing he casts slows you down. Whoa.
They're really quick too. Yeah, that might do it. Let me go. Let me go, you know you want to. That was close. Alright. Spit water at me, go ahead. Oh, what? Oh, he got stuck, I think, so... That's how they unstuck. I don't know if he's coming back. I would assume he would, but... I don't think that's a skill that crabs uh, have, by the way. <laughs> Just digging subterranean crabs I don't think is really a thing. I think he might just be gone. Which sucks. I kind of wanted him to. Kind of wanted to take him out. If I could. Which is not necessarily something I would have been able to do. And I forgot to start my timer until right now, so. This video might go a little long. What are you doing back there? throwing a tantrum is what you're doing. I think that crab is coming after me. Damn it. I don't think it goes on land though. We won't be lucking out. Alright. Dead. Uh, is he still hurt or did he heal? He healed, of course. Ah, uh, he's just, he's back. That was a bad idea. Your best bet is to try to wait for him to spit water, but that can be uh, unreliable at best. This is what you're looking for, though, so you can do that. Uh, one more hit should do it. All right. Whew. All right, we got the great swamp ring. Okay, that's cool. It's a good thing he came back then. Great Swamp is, of course, where Pyromancy comes from, so I think that might be the ring for me. Oh, we already have it. And I'm going to bet that doesn't stack. <laughs> Damn it. I can test to see if it stacks, I guess. Let's see. If we can get two crabs around here. Two little ones. Alright, 114. Now let's do this. Oh. Alright, you can't even equip another one. So, uh, there we go. That answers that question. Props to uh, FromSoft for not uh, letting us waste our time. I, I don't want to get the other big crab right now. That seems like a big, big mistake. Alright, so we got all the Conjurator gear. Oh, and a great swamp. Pyromancy Tome, that's cool. I wonder why those were separate pickups. Hmm. Alright, let's take a look at this. Alright, attire of traveling conjurators. Conjurators, conjurators were the predecessors to pyromancers and spent their lives roaming the lands. No wonder their attire was designed to protect them from fire, poison, and other threats of nature. Conjurator robe. 
same thing. Yeah, so none of these are going to be better physically than what we're wearing. They're all really light though and have really good other resistances. Descriptions are all the same. Let's see what's this up with this tome. A pyromancy tome from the Great Swamp containing advanced pyromancies. Give to the old master pyromancer to learn advanced pyromancies of the Great Swamp. Spells of the Great Swamp are passed down from master to pupil. Without a master, there is no pupil. But without a pupil, there is also no master. That's very uh, deep and philosophical right there. Alright, so crystal lizard in there we can't get to. Seems familiar. Yeah, so if you can see in the distance there... That is what you think it is. That is a black knight. So what I want to do is use one of our rusted coins, see if I can't get anything decent out of this guy. Although, even if I did, I wouldn't use it. But, you know, I like to get stuff. He's no po He's no punk, but he's nowhere near as scary as he was in Dark Souls 1, because we know all about him. Oh, shit. I say as he murders me. <laughs> ah, son of a bitch. It's cool, I got caught in the corner. My mistake. Also, he's not a guy to try to block. And that was a waste of a rusted coin. Well, it's alright. So we're definitely going to head back in there. Take him out. We'll just have a couple of those poison pots and at least one or two crucified guys. Alright, tighten that shard. Don't take that. Oh, I know you're here, buddy. Done? My turn. No, it's not my turn. Never mind. Take it back. You can have your turn. You're done. Get out. Take out you. Oh, I'm really surprised I haven't gotten any blue sentinel stuff yet. Alright, so let's do an ember here. Finish what we started. And I'm going to go and use it. Hopefully it doesn't waste it. Bring it. Black Knight. I wouldn't mind getting your shield, actually. Ah, oh, I didn't see that fourth one coming. And there's always that. Ah, right. oh, you cannot stagger him at all. That's why he's the Black Knight, I guess. I think we're going to lose our coin. Could have backstabbed in there. I messed that up. Alright, good. And I think we still had our coin on. And he dropped nothing, so... F me, I guess. Alright, now the real fight begins. Yeah, no kidding. Cellsword Twin Blades. Illusory Wall Ahead. You're a liar. Those pots don't break very well. Uh, let's look at the Cellsword Twin Blades. This be a dex weapon. Paired scimitars used by certain Cellswords. The 
The scimitar's sharp blades make for effective slashing attacks, but fare poorly against metal armor and tough scale-covered hides. With a scimitar in each hand, the wielder can vary their onslaught with unique left-handed attacks when in the proper stance. And it comes with the spin slash skill. Betrayal ahead, therefore try to pull back. Give me a betrayal. Alright, cool. We got the Farron Coal. Coal used for weapon infusion long ago, used to forge the great swords of the Undead Legion of Farron. Give to the blacksmith in the shrine to allow the use of gems for heavy, sharp, and poison infusion. Alright, I think we got some stairs over here on the left. Let me just see if this works real quick. In the other game, if you unequipped your covenant and then redid it, sometimes you it boosted your chances of getting summoned. Time for sorcery. Oh, I wonder if you could have got a plunging attack on them. Oh well. Alright, and then we get the cell sword gear. To complement our swords. Metal helm interwoven with coarse cloth, able to endure the hardships of battle and prolonged travel. It is light, considering the build, striking a fine balance between absorption and substance. Whoops. Alright, so what else we got? Uh, weighs way more. Metal armor interwoven with coarse cloth. Able to hear we just talked about that. But I can rock that actually. It's better defense. Uh, and doesn't put us over 70, so. No more mirror garb. Cell sword gauntlets are crap. And the trousers aren't that bad aren't bad, but northern trousers are better. That'll work. I like it because it has a cape. I'm a, I'm a big fan of having capes. Alright, so I'm going to head back towards the beginning and then go over to the right. And of course now we are open for invasions, so we'll see if that happens. What are these guys doing? Practicing? Shit. He saw me. Don't trigger the dog. Alright. Okay, okay. Okay, guys. It's enough of that. Calm down. There. How'd you like that? Alright, we have no Estus left, so... That's not good. It actually might be in our best interest to go to the bonfire now. Start fresh. Shit. Oh, we just got invaded. Watchdog of Farron. I don't have sh shit. So, no healing. Um, and hardly no health. Why does this keep happening to me? Is this the same guy? No, it's not. Same kind of sword, though. Gonna try to parry me. That wasn't a good idea.
Alright, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? I can win in... Damn it! <laughs> no, I was going to say, I can win in one-to-one -one exchanges with the guy. Until I can't. Alright, so the Watchdogs of Farron are actually another covenant of that area that are meant to protect it. But anyways, we're heading back here to begin with. It's just a waste of an ember. No big deal. Oh, I tried to roll through it. It did not work. Oh. I was hoping I could kill him in two hits, but we can't. Well, that worked out. That means that one crab is back. We shouldn't be venturing into the water anytime soon, so... Except to get that item over there. Oh yeah, I see you. Uh, let's try for it. I don't think the we might be able to get it without the crab noticing. Grass crest shield. So if that's like it is in the other games, it should uh, increase our stamina recovery. I don't think anyone's going to see us here. It only does 89 physical detect or physical absorption. Uh, old medium metal shield of unknown origin. The, gla the grass crest is lightly imbued with magic, which slightly st speeds stamina recovery. Uh, and it comes with parry instead of weapon skill. I'll stick with what we have. I kind of like weapon skill. Even though arguably our weapon skill isn't really anything that would... You need to use all that quickly, but... Another Titanite Shard, so we definitely need to go upgrade. What was that? What the f- Oh, are you kidding me? That was some horse shit. That might have been a mistake, but it pissed me off. Get out of here, Pots. Nobody likes you. Oh. You're a comical enemy at best. Alright, another Titanite Shard. That's cool. Is there something down? No, okay. Where are you, fatty? I don't think there's any fatties around here. I'm surprised there's not a praise the sun right here. Here we go. Twin dragon great shield. We got a whole posse of them. Oh, you really? You got lucky. You got lucky. Oh, F you. Alright, I got a dog. Everyone's favorite. That guy's beefy.
Oh, shit. I got the dog out of there. I think we got a couple more hanging around. Yeah, we do. Uh, I want to get a backstab on him. All for a fading soul. That big crab. Or was there anything else up here? There's you. That's... okay, that's the opening path. Come up here. I think we got everything. It looks like it. A whole bunch of them over there. Oh, sweet. All right, there's a bonfire right here. Where's the bonfire? Three. Oh, there's that big crab just chilling there. Right, let's go and light this up. I like that when you've been invaded or... Basically just that, when you've been invaded, they still let you light the bonfire. They don't let you rest at it, but you can light it. And I think that's kind of cool, because... You know, that way you can actually get some progress saved in there, because always just teleport back to it. But okay, so I don't think there's anything else on this little mountain. Let's go ahead and go back to... Firelink, I think. Uh, let's see. We gotta turn in a pyromancy tome. We can level up our axe. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to level up because I'll probably buy some new spells. Okay, we'll go this way. And I don't know if we have any Estus shards. No, we don't. Alright, so Grey Rat is gone now. He went off to pillage. Ah, there you are, unkindled one. I am <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and give him the pyromancy tome here. Yes, here we are. It's been long indeed. With this I can teach you more sophisticated pyromancies. Splendid. I can boast I am your tutor a little longer. <laughs> Alright, so let's see where that added in. Uh, bursting Fireball is new, so is Fire Orb. That requires 18 intelligence, so now we're starting to get basically some uh, guidance on where we need to go for Pyromancy. So I need to get our intelligence up a little bit. This one's the Fire Orb still really low. Whoops. Uh, the signature flame manipulating spell comma to pyromancers hurls a giant fire orb. The blazing fire orb explodes on impact, dealing fire damage to the surrounding area. They say that once a pyromancer learns the spell, their understanding of the flame deepens together with a yearning for it. Alright, so we're definitely going to pick that one up. Uh, bursting fireball. Pyromancy of the old restored by Cornix, one of the Great Swamp's more advanced spells, hurls an exploding fireball, a rare technique that undergoes change after leaving the caster's hand making this spell renowned for its difficulty. Uh, what else do we got? Poison Mist, I'll probably never use these. Poison Mist and... See. I don't think that one's new, but... Uh, unique Pyromancy crafted by... Inji, I'm saying that wrong, but... Inji, a heretic inhabiting the Great Swamp long ago, creates a Poison Mist. Inji was driven from the Great Swamp, however his Pyromancy continues to succeed him. Perhaps dwellers of the Great Swamp are reminded that their very existence is one rooted in heresy. 
And then Profuse Sweat is a new one. Advanced Pyromancy that internalizes flame associated with Carmina. Profuse Sweating temporarily boosts resistance to Bleeding, Poison, Frost, and Curse. The Yellowish Sweat cures all kinds of ailments. Okay, so that's... Whereas Flash Sweat just does Fire. This one does Bleeding, Poison, Frost, and Curse. That's probably not something I'll ever use. Uh, I will eventually buy all these. Because that's probably an achievement attached to that. But... For now, we'll just leave it with Fire Orb. Do not be gone for long. What is a teacher without a pupil? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade this axe. That is good, wasn't it? Right, there we go. That should give us an extra 30-ish damage. Now we need large Titanite shards. Oh, we have a coal we can give him too. I forgot about that. All right. Oh my! This coal is from the undead legion, used to forge the weapons of Farron's abyss watchers. A fine prize. I'm honored to be endued with it. Now I'll be equipped to infuse special gems. Praise the gods, eh? Time to put this brawn to use. <laughs> That's quite the ponytail that Andre's rocking, isn't it? It's hardcore. Okay, so now he can infuse weapons with uh, this is the heavy ones, I think. Poison. And there's something else in there. So right now we're doing 258, this will give us 207. So this, the dark is still better. Uh, and then if we do fire, all it does is just move it to fire instead of dark, so we'll keep it at dark. Okay, so we're still good to go with this. Pretty be careful. I don't think we had any other key items, do we? No. Uh, required to level up, so we need an extra... 1600. Go ahead and cash some stuff in for that. And th three of those ought to do it. Ashen one. Welcome, host. Very well. Then take. All right. So at this point, we're going to need to start looking at entombment. Intelligence and Faith. Uh, we'll go Intelligence this round because we've got a requirement for a new spell I want, I'd want. i like to try out at least. So we'll go that route. And let's take a look at Fire Orb. I'll probably keep Great Combustion uh, I just want to compare the two. This, to me, it's not much of a purpose in having two spells that throw a, basically a fireball. So, uh, where's a safe place to do this when I don't catch anyone on fire? Here we go. All right, so that's fireball. That's fire orb. So yeah, you get the explosion. Uh, casting time doesn't appear to take any longer. So, ooh, I want to see how much that. Pyromancy ring sells for since we got two of them. Uh. I don't know if rings sell for an exceptional amount or not. A hundred? Oh, not really. Ashen one. Uh, if we ever in dire need of souls, I'll uh, sell that. If only I had a spouse. I don't think you want a spouse. Don't worry about that. You're on a quest that leads to death. Alright, so I think we'll go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, we didn't make a whole lot of progress, but we cleared out one part of the uh, Crucifixion Woods, and now we'll take the left side next. Uh, but we got some things upgraded. 
did a little PvP unsuccessfully, I might add, but did it nonetheless. So, uh, alright guys, appreciate you watching this, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace!